So guys, we've come to the end of the uh, the Meet the Brewer with Nook and Yit uh, and our friends at Crate, uh, and they've ended with something I didn't actually know was going to happen, uh, which is a bottle of this. Now, the huge beer geeks among you will know, well, the, the name might ring a bell, Horizon Tokyo Black, that's because it's a mix of three of the possibly the greatest brewers on this earth, uh, which is Nognitu, McKellar and Brewdog. So Horizon is Nognitu, Tokyo is Brewdog and Black is McKellar. We made a Christmas cake with McKellar Black, which you can see here, uh, if it's Christmassy at all. But I love a beer that comes in a box, you know? It feels more special. Uh, so breaking this open is, is a trick, oh, I got it, I was going to say it was tricky, but really big moment. Uh, this beer does so, so well on rate beer. Uh, most people would have a bottle opener in their hands. He's got a bottle opener. He's got a bottle opener. Is, is any of this a bottle opener? Brad, how many keys do you have? There we go, there we go. He's got one. Thank you. So in case you haven't guessed, this is the mother of all, the mother of all stouts. Uh, so a stout is a more alcoholic porter. Um, there's a wonderful review on Rape Beer that says that this is blacker than black. So black it is not, not, not on RGB. Uh, that any head will dissipate instantly. Oh no, that's staying actually, that's not so bad. So, let me dive into this. So it's 16%. I mean, it reminds me of, of the tactical nuclear penguins, of the, the, the other really, really high alcoholic beers, but you don't get a lot of burn. Actually, you get a smell of raisins and of dates and of dark fruits. There's coffee in this, but there's not a huge amount of coffee on the nose, which is actually quite refreshing because you're going to get a bit of sweetness here, and I wanted that. Okay, so first impression is, that's really highly carbonated. Um, it's rare to get a beer anywhere near 16% that will still have carbonation. Uh, and that, that is really fizzy. And you know, if I swirl it around, get in there, you can see that it's, it's bubbly around the head. That's really unusual. Um, and it lifts what could be a really treacly beer. It's gorgeous. It's like um, somewhere between a really lovely raisin and a really fruity red grape. Um, it's a real chocolatey coffee uh, uh, finish to it. So it starts really sweet, it ends a little bit bitter, but there's no lingering bitterness. You're left with the sweetness again. It's really, really well balanced so that nothing overpowers each other. And you'd expect that from brewers of the quality of those three, and it's... It reminds me of, the, of, of, of McKellar Black a lot. It's got that, but it's more, much more effervescent uh, than McKellar's. It's got a lot more character in the mouthfeel, which, which is really lovely to see, and perhaps brought about by the fact that Brewdog, their beers are often very, very carbonated, because it brings out all those aromas, and that's what they like doing. And this is, of course, brewed by Nonya O, so you, you've got a slightly more restrained style where they love to take the classics and really give it their own twist, and that's exactly what they've done. It's a really, really beautiful beer. You can get yourself a box. I'd love to say, yeah, get it here. I don't know. We got it from Rube. Um, but it's a really, really, really interesting beer, and if you're looking at higher alcohol beers, you want to choose one 
they'll introduce you to that kind of style. And believe me, it's a brilliant style to have, the Russian Imperials. I think this is where you should start. That or, or, or the Black by Mikella, they're both incredible. Um, and you should probably drink it by candlelight with a man with a rimmed hat filming you. So good luck with that. Cheers. Thank you.